And I just want to finish on this point, and and you know, it's kind of this is kind of like a bonus feature because it doesn't really have anything to do with the sermon. But I find that this issue is the same with the whole issue about Planned Parenthood right now. Where people, if you don't know what's happening with Planned Parenthood in America, see this is why you've got to be on Facebook, guys, because uh, you've got you to keep up with the issues of what's happening. <laughs> I use Facebook as like my news feed. But, you know, what's happening in, with Planned Parenthood in America, basically P Planned Parenthood is um, a... I guess a healthcare provider for women in, in um, the United States, and they provide things like sex education, um, STD testing, cancer screening, but they also provide abortion services. So they uh, services to uh, to kill children. Um, so basic, you know, basically they're a service that supports fornication and murder. That's how I would define them. But they exist in America, and what happened was. Um, is a, an, an organization, Center for Medical Progress or something like that, they basically went undercover to try and expose Planned Parenthood for selling aborted baby parts. Because what was happening, because they, they're doing so many abortions, right, and they want, they're, they're, they're using these baby parts for scientific research. So what would then happen is that they would sell these, uh, uh, these aborted baby parts and they, they would say, oh, we're not selling them. It's just reimbursement of costs to transport the goods and blah, blah, blah. But then there are these videos of these people basically haggling for the cost. So if there was a set, if, if there was a set cost for distribution and transporting, wh why is there a negotiation on how much there should be? So you can go on YouTube and you can watch these videos. Just be careful because some of them are quite graphic. So if you don't want to see that, the last video they, they brought out was disgusting because it's basically, you know, they're bringing out this aborted baby and they put it on this dish on a light table and it shows them actually fishing through the parts. And the people that are doing it actually recognize that it's a baby. They're like, oh, look, there's the head, there's the leg. Oh, it's a little baby. One of them even jokes and says, oh, it's another boy. And they're doing this to, to, to these babies and it's just, how, you just think it's just so, it's so bad. I mean, you, you, you watch it and you're just disgusted at this thing that is going on. And it's hard to, it's hard to even fathom that they are still allowed to exist. So, you know, I, 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 her I herald these people that did this. These guys are heroes. These guys did something really good to go under. They went undercover basically for three years when it had all these conversations basically pretending to be a fetal tissue procurement company. And now they've come out with all these videos and now they're trying to expose them for what they do and the abomination that is um, abortion. Because abortion is murder. Um, they are killing innocent children. And you know, the, the internet went all ablaze recently as well with this lion. You know, Cecil, did you guys hear about Cecil the lion? So Cecil the lion, a dentist basically uh, paid $50,000 to go hunting in Zimbabwe. And then he hunted down this lion and he posted a picture saying, you know, like he killed this lion. But what, they didn't, what he didn't realize was that this lion was part of this research project and it was like a very famous lion called Cecil the lion. And then the internet went ablaze saying like, oh, this murderer, this person that killed this lion. And to the point where they were sending him death threats, he had to close down his dentist business and all this stuff. And then I was just waiting for the day that the meme would come out where people, you know, they're so upset about killing this lion, but there wasn't even this, as, this much outrage over Planned Parenthood. Killing thousands and thousands of babies every day. How many thousands and thousands of babies are being aborted and killed and murdered and they're going off about this lion? And you know what's funny? Because one of my friends on Facebook said, you know lions, they kill endangered species, don't they? They kill zebra, they kill giraffe, they kill all these endangered animals. So you could even think this hunter actually saved a lot of animals, right? Because this lion didn't kill all these animals. Saved at least, you know, tens of animals that would have been killed by this lion. And then you wonder, you know, what if this lion was pregnant? What if the lion was pregnant and they did an abortion on the lion. Would, would they have a conundrum now? Because they, they have no problem with abortion. That lion, the, the baby fetus lion is not alive, right? According to them. So you can abort all of the lions you want. But no, they don't. Because, you know, it's like they, you, you see these memes going on Facebook where, you know, there's like a $100,000 fine by destroying a bald eagle egg, which is not born yet. But then you can kill all these babies and that's not illegal. 
It's disgusting. So, you know, that's what's been happening on the internet lately. You know, all this ablaze about Lyme, but, but, and then uh, parent, Planned Parenthood was exposed for doing all these things, which is good because I'm against Planned Parenthood. I, I, I'm not supportive of Planned Parenthood at all. But the point I just wanted to make here is it's just like with the same-sex marriage issue. The issue is not, with, with the whole Planned Parenthood story, the main issue is not what you do with aborted fetal parts. Right? Because that's who they've tried to attack. They've tried to attack Planned Parenthood as though they're the cause of all these things. But they're not, are they? Because think about it. Is Planned Parenthood, are they the problem? Or are they a symptom of the problem? So we're attacking the symptom, aren't we? We're attacking Planned Parenthood and trying to put all the blame on Planned Parenthood for doing all these things. But think about it. Planned Parenthood is a provider of services. They don't go out and abort babies on unwilling mothers. There are mothers coming through their doors to get their children aborted. And nothing uh, that I've read and heard about Planned Parenthood is saying anything about the mothers that are sending their children for the slaughter. I read uh, statistics that you know, Planned Parenthood, I think they abort, they, they carry out about 300,000 abortions a year. 300,000 abortions. That means, but that means that 300,000 mothers walked through their doors to kill their children. So you've got to ask yourself the question, who has the greatest sin? If you remember when Jesus stood before Pilate, when he said, thou should have no power against me except it were given thee from above, therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greatest sin. So I'm not for Planned Parenthood. You know, obviously Planned Parenthood is a wicked organization. They're basically facilitating murder. But I think as Christians, we need to put it in perspective that the real, the real culprit, the real people we should be angry at are the mothers that are going in and killing their children. And that's, who, that, that's what has to stop. Because if you close down Planned Parenthood, they'll just go somewhere else for the abortion. Or they'll just, they'll just kill that, you know, this is, why, this is why you have to understand, like it makes sense to me. If you, see, if you accept same-sex same -sex couples as a legitimate couple, then it's hard to argue why you shouldn't call it marriage. And it's the same with the abortion issue. If you accept abortion, if you accept, if, if society accepts that it's legitimate, then what you do with the aborted fetal parts is really a secondary issue. Because it makes sense to me, right? Like if they're going to argue from the point of view where abortion is fine, well then, then what is wrong with do donating the aborted fetal tissue for research? What, what are you going to do then? You're going to throw it in the bin? But isn't that even more of a waste? That's the argument they have. The, the, the babies are being aborted anyway, so why waste the tissue? Why not donate it to research? Because to be honest, you know, th that, that's really the question. What's, what's wrong with selling it off and you know, getting um, uh, 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 sending it off to a research lab to do research with it, but that's not the issue. The issue is the fact that the babies are getting aborted. So I'm not saying that I support what Planned Parenthood does. Of course, what they're doing is wrong. You know, an assassin, for an example, has a horrendous job. You know, it's it's wrong. It's sinful. But my point there is, should we be more angry at the assassin? Or should we be more angry at the person who's hired the assassin? And I think we should be more angry at the person that has hired the assassin because without the people hiring the assassin, the assassin is out of the job. If people were not aborting their children, Planned Parenthood wouldn't exist. And then if you don't even have enough fetal tissue to donate, then that, 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 so it's a knock-on effect. Do you see what I mean? So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because you know, that is an issue that is sort of you know, quite, quite large on the internet right now. And I just want to bring people, people's perspective back that there are mothers killing their children and that really is, are the people that have the greater sin. But it's not being talked about at all. Because yeah, it's easy to condemn an organization, but if you start condemning the mothers, maybe now you're condemning your actual constituents, right? The actual people that um, are going to be voting for you. All righty. That's it. Does anyone, does any of you guys have any questions so far about anything I said? So I got off a, cu a couple of rabbit trails, but I just think it's disgusting what they're doing with children. And you know, like I, I just remember watching the first video and just 
yeah, it's like it's it's a danger to be desensitized to it. And maybe you know, I, I I'm compassionate on the actual people, you know, you know the way they talk because obviously if that's your business, you know, you you've been they've been desensitized to the fact that that's a baby all mashed up on that dish there. You know, but you think about it, when you look at these children and you just think, you know, can you imagine doing that to one of them? But that's what they've done. They've pulled it apart. But, but watch, watch the videos if you get time because the third video they, 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 took, they brought out was basically a lady that was hired to fish through the parts. And the first time she had to do it, she fainted, you know, and then they had to wake her up and then she said, you know, the nurse was joking with her and saying, oh, don't worry, that's not the first time it's happened. It happens to everybody. Oh. Anyways, sorry, sorry to end on that topic to go into lunch, but <laughs> let's pray. Let's pray for our nation that this wouldn't happen here. And um, let's start getting ready for lunch. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you um, that you help us to understand a lot of these issues. And we just pray, Lord, that, um, that you would stop this abomination. Well, not that you would stop that, Lord, that you would help, help us, you would help Christians to stand up and take a stand against uh, what is happening in this world, that it's, a, it's an abomination. And um, Lord, help us not to d be desensitized to it. Um, may we fight and speak up for those that um, uh, you know, are being killed. Help us reach the mothers, Lord, and not just um, fight on s secondary issues. Thank you, Lord, for our church. Pray that you bless the, the gathering, and thank you for those that have come this morning to learn. And I pray... The sermon was a blessing to them, and we love you, Lord. We love you, and love you for what you did for us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay.